Good morning, folks. Henry and myself just finished the clearing class. Um, we had a lot of fun with this class. Some very, very nice variety of clear wings here today, so we were going to spoil it, really. A huge contrast between the best birds in the class and the birds that finished down the tail end, and you'll see that when you have a close look later on. The winning birds all had size and substance, um, far more like English birds um, than the birds down the back end, which were more like the traditional Australian-type birds. But pleasing to say that the winning birds have also incorporated a really good variety. So not only are we seeing the features of English birds coming through, but we're also seeing a good example of the clear wing variety. The winning bird is a cockbird, a lovely big strong bird. Um, very nice contrast, lovely coloured wings, yellow extending all the way down to the flights. So all the things you like to see in a good clear wing, he's got it. Um, perhaps could have a little bit more feather, but he's a big strong bird. He gets up and shows well, and he shows consistently. So he won um, by a small margin over a very nice dark green hen. And this hen's got lovely contrast, um, lovely you know, between the dark green body colour um, and the olive well, body colour and the um, yellow, fl yellow wings. Uh, very good contrast. She shows really well. She stands up and gives everything she's got. She's not quite as wide through the head as a cockbird. Um, you often get that um, between cocks and hens. But he's, he, he was a very strong bird and so is she a strong bird in her own right. Just unlucky to run into the cockbird today, but again, a very nice example of a clearwing with lovely yellow flights. Um, everything you like to see, the clearwings. The third bird is an interesting one, um, dark green. Um, probably the best feathered bird there. Um, he can, he's got a little bit of directional feather happening, so we're seeing a little bit, little bit of more English style feathering coming into that bird. Again, nice clear, um, nice clear flights and nice contrast, and quite a nice sized bird. Um, but overall, we didn't think uh, his deportment and his features were strong enough to beat the first two. But three really strong ones. The fourth bird is a very good example of the clearing, uh, again, with lovely clear wings. Uh, a very nice feather in the head, uh, but very rough around the wing and the tail area, just unruffled for whatever reason. Um, so that, that took him backwards. He's missing a couple of flights as well, which didn't help him. Um, they're not the outside flights, it's a couple of inside flights. But again, a very nice example of the clearing bird. Um, and if he, if he was complete, he probably would have gone further. So a um, bit of bad luck with that bird. Fifth down, uh, fifth was another nice bird. Um, not much wrong with this bird at all. Getting a little bit dark in the flight feathers compared to the winning clear wings. And if, if you have a look, you'll see what I mean about that later on. Just not quite as yellow through the flights as, as we would like to see. But again, very nice contrast. A nice big size bird um, with nice width of head. He's a good bird, it's not quite as good as, a variety as the ones in front of him. Um, from here the birds dropped away a little bit. Um, really the top shelf quite good. And once you get to the bottom shelf there, start dropping away. The bird in cage R was quite a nice budgie, but a long, long way out of condition. So we couldn't get him up any further. So he's, he's, he's got a head full of pin feathers. So he was penalised quite heavily for his condition on the day. Um, but as I said, it was a joy to, to judge the class. Some very nice birds in the, in the variety today. So thank you. A terrible feeling we're going to hear a lot about this first bird tonight but nevertheless the bird that um, finished first in the clearing class is in cage L second is cage F third is cage T fourth is cage S fifth is cage M sixth is cage N seventh is cage D eight is cage G Ninth is cage J. Tenth is cage U. Eleventh is in cage I. Twelfth is in cage R. Thirteenth is cage H. Fourteenth is A. Fifteenth is B. Sixteenth is K. Seventeenth is Q. 18th is P, 19th is C, 20th is E, the 21st bird is in KJ.